I'm gonna show you how to make one of the best Nashville hot chicken. Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. Halal Chef is back for another video and this time I'm making Nashville hot chicken. I'm gonna serve this hot chicken with crispy fries and buffalo ranch sauce. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. We will start with prepping the chicken. Here I'm using chicken breast. You could use a full chicken that has been cut into eight pieces. First of all, I'm gonna remove the tenders from the breast. You can easily pull them off with your hands or use a knife. Now if the chicken is quite large, then slice it in the middle and then cut them into thick strips. Put your hand on the top to skewer the chicken and place a sharp knife in the middle and slowly let the knife do the work. Now if your chicken isn't clean enough, then make sure you definitely wash it and remove the excess fat. I'm gonna remove the tenders and the strips into this bowl and wash your bowl straight away. We don't want any germs hanging around. I'm gonna let season the chicken with with a good touch of salt and some of this Nashville hot seasoning. Now you want to give that a really good mix with your hands. You want to leave the chicken to marinate for a few hours. Let the chicken absorb those seasoning. For the Nashville seasoning, give it a cayenne pepper. Now if you like a bit more heat in there, you could increase the amount of cayenne pepper. Give with a smoked paprika. Head of got garlic powder. You could use granules, but make sure to grind them first. Some of this onion powder as well. Give with a freshly ground black pepper. Give with a salt, MSG. And finally with a dark brown sugar. If you got light brown sugar, then you can use that. Now give that a really good mix. Use a fork, it works best. Always make sure to have a little taste of the seasoning and you know just anything if you really need to. Of amazing Nashville hot seasoning. Done. Perfect. For the buffalo ranch sauce you want to throw in the butter and let them melt on low medium heat. Give it the hot sauce, white vinegar, give it the Worcester, you could also use soy sauce. For more flavor I'm using air pickle juice. Give it some of this water. We're gonna season this with paprika, garlic, onion powder, some of this black pepper and a good pinch of salt. Now you want to give that a mix and let it simmer on low heat for a few minutes. Now grab another bowl and you want to throw in the butter milk, also in with the mayonnaise. You could also add some of the sour cream if you like. Now once our buffalo sauce has been cooled down, we're gonna slowly incorporate it into this mixture. And finally I'm gonna throw in some of the sugar. It balances the flavor and removes any bitterness from the sauce. Now have a little taste, that's perfect. Now you can adjust any seasoning if you need to. Of a delicious buffalo ranch sauce. Done. For the fries you want to cut them to around 0.8 cm thick. You could use white Maris Piper or rusted potatoes for this. I am making skin on fries. If you want you could remove the skin. Once you have sliced the potatoes you want to wash them in water to remove the excess starch. And then you want to completely dry them off. Now for the dredging with a plain flour, with the white pepper and some of this ground black pepper as well. And with the garlic and onion powder, smoked paprika, salt and finally some of this MSG. Give that a real good mix and set aside. Now in another bowl you want to crack in 3 medium or 2 large eggs. It with a pickle juice that has been mixed with some water. It with a half sauce and some of our natural seasoning. Good pinch of salt and finally some plain flour. Now you want to mix this until it is well combined and then just set aside. And finally you will need some plain flour in another bowl set aside. Before we start coating our chicken, turn up the heater on medium and bring the oil temperature to around 160 Celsius. Well let's coat the chicken here, got our plain flour, our wet mixture and of course our seasoned flour. Grab your chicken as well. Or first the chicken will go into the plain flour. Cameraman, zoom in. Grab your chicken fillets and you want to coat into that flour. A really good coat of that flour. And now shake off the excess. And the chicken goes into our wet mixture. Shake off the excess into the wet mixture. And now just remove the excess. We just want a light coat of that. And now this goes into our seasoned flour. Bismillah. Coat that. And now just give that a good mix using your dry hands. You want to press onto that flour so it will stick to the chicken. Don't leave any wet spots hanging behind. This is one of the best natural hot chicken that you're gonna try. And now shake off the excess and this is exactly what you're looking for. Now this goes straight into the hot oil. Bismillah. Just gonna keep it there for a few seconds and let that float. Now we're going to let this cook for around five to six minutes until the internal temperature has reached 75 Celsius or 165 Fahrenheit. And we have a nice golden brown color on that. Oh, the smell of the chicken is so good. Now just shake off the excess oil and start removing them on a rack. Now it's best to clean the oil before frying the next batch. Have a mouth-watering crispy chicken. Done. It looks so, so good. 
Now grab a bowl and throw in your Nashville hot spice. And in that you want to throw in your hot oil from the fried chicken. Make sure the oil temperature is not too hot. We don't want to burn the spices. The hot oil will do two things. It will keep the chicken nice and crispy. And it will also remove the rawness of the spices. Now while the oil is still hot, we're going to start coating our chicken into that. Be careful, it's really hot. Now you don't have to dip the chicken in the oil. If you want, you can just brush it. And now just start removing the chicken onto your plate. Finally, I'm gonna hit it with some more seasoning. I have a mouth-washing Nashville hot chicken. Damn, it looks so delicious. Oh, you can Here with your sliced cabbage. Here with the lettuce, our sliced spring onions. Here with a beautiful zest of fresh lemon and juice of fresh lemon as well. Now you can lightly dress this with some of the buffalo ranch sauce. It's gonna go amazing with our Nashville hot chicken. Now give that a really good mix and adjust any seasoning if you need to. Our delicious zesty coleslaw. Mmm, done. Now to cook the fries, first of all you want to fry them at 160 Celsius for around 3-4 to four minutes until they're nice and soft. Now I can see they are nice and soft, now we're gonna start removing them. We don't want any color on them. And now you're going to turn the temperature to around 190 Celsius. And we're gonna fry them for around 45 minutes until nice and golden brown. Or right, once we have this beautiful golden brown color, we're gonna start removing them. You can see they are nice and crispy as well. Remove them onto our kitchen paper and let the excess oil drain. Our mouth watching crispy fries. Done. Right, let's plate this up with your Nashville hot chicken, serving it with these crispy fries and have a mouth-watering buffalo ranch sauce. That just looks amazing. I can't wait to try this. And you could also serve this chicken on a burn. Here with some of the sauce, your Nashville hot chicken. Some of our fresh cold slaw. You some of these pickles. Win. And top of the bun with some more sauce. That looks so delicious. I guess I'm gonna try this, it looks amazing. Our first list of our natural hot chicken. Bismillah. Mm, wow, that is so, so delicious. Let's try some of these fries. Mm. One word, these are mouth watering. The seasoning is absolutely perfect and the buffalo ranch sauce one of the best sauces ever. Well, let's take a bite of this Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Look at that. Bismillah. Wow. Again, this Nashville hot chicken along with some of the zesty coleslaw is just on another level. It is so, so delicious. Trust me. Just have a look at that. This Nashville hot chicken is on steroids. It is so, so good. You guys are gonna really enjoy it with your family and friends. I truly appreciate everyone watching my videos and you know, subscribing and liking. It really means a lot. Let's get this video to 1000 likes. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.